Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for the month of April. Um, we're going to see what's going on with you in love and romance. What do you need to know? Okay. This is for Aries in love for the month of April. What do you need to know? Please stay tuned for the advice. The advice is so important. You can have a reading that is ideal ideal that you want to hear that you want to know and then when we get to the advice it's like whoa the warnings come out um you know those red flag things and it may not be a dominant energy but it may be something you need to pay attention to but you won't know if you don't stick to the end where i give the advice um even i underestimated it um for a very long time and spirit just kind of dropped it on me and said, hey, you know, yeah, that advice is very important. So you guys stick around. All right. So Aries in the month of April, the current energy is the Ten of Pentacles. What is something you don't know that you need to know? The Six of Wands and the potential outcome is the High Priestess. Your advice is the Fool. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy here is the Page of Wands. All right, fire energy. Um, the Page of Wands is a curious little person. I mean, it's not a little person, but you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> page of Wands seeks information. Um He's an explorer, okay? So this could mean maybe you have questions about something. You want to know something. Um, you know, pages are also communicators. So that could be a thing as well. Well, let's see what is going on here. Um, we're going to push this off to the side and focus on the current energy. Ten of Pentacles. This is permanency, stability. This is all about your wealth. Um, this can also represent long-term relationships, commitments, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, Ten of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, you could be in a relationship with an Earth sign. So your spouse or long-term partner why the queen of pentacles <clears throat> all right so the magician in the reverse represents either someone who lacks self-confidence meaning they don't think they can do something or this is like a delay like they're not doing something they're, they're not taking action because the magician upright he is self-confident and he does take action. So in reverse, it's like the opposite of that. Um, maybe is your person possibly feeling this way? Why the magician in reverse? About something here. We'll find out. Oh, the Queen of Cups. And the world. Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio. Um, what is the energy of the Ten of Pentacles? Worry, stress, overthinking. All right, which ties into this magician in reverse. Um, this could have something to do with money, or this could have, this could have something to do with their emotions. Um, maybe getting to a place where they feel whole and and fulfilled. You know, life is maybe feeling complete, but they're having some. They're doubting themselves. Let's roll through this. What is the energy of the magician in reverse? What is the energy of the magician in reverse? Yeah, your person is not feeling like they can do something. What is the energy of the magician in reverse? Ooh. Yeah, no, too much responsibility, too much, 
to carry. They have a full load here. And I think it's preventing them from feeling like they can enjoy life or your relationship, right? Maybe they are taking on bulk, a bulk, most of the responsibilities or maybe even financial responsibilities with the Ten of Pentacles there. What is the energy of the Queen of Cups? The Queen of Wands. Oh, is that another person? Another woman? Mm. What's the energy of the world? The death card. Oh, no, this is, has something to do with a completion or an ending. Now, we'll figure it out. Hold on. Hold tight. What's the energy of this Queen of Pentacles? Oh, my God, you guys. Why do it just feels like there's so many people involved here? And maybe there's difficulty ending a relationship with someone or more than one person. I get at least two people. I feel like this Queen of Cups could be someone's energy. Someone, maybe this is you, Aries. Someone you love, but there's like a third party person and you feel like I can't do it. I can't continue this on like something has to end. Why the Nine of Swords? Oh, yeah. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the Six of Wands. <sighs> yeah, this is about ending a relationship. A relationship um, that is not working out, that is not successful. I think you feel it would be more victorious if it did end, right? Like, Maybe you can get, you can breathe, you can, you can get your footing, like things would be easier. Like you could get some of these wands off your back. Because I do feel third party energy, feel like multiple people involved. I don't know who these people are. I don't know if like this could be a wife or spouse. You have some queens on the board though. So these are significant people. Okay. Why the three of cups? There's a king of cups. I feel like I feel like you're in love with at least one of these people. And I think that's the difficulty. And it could be like the other person. The queen of wands also gives me like the other woman or the other man. Um, like often that's how she reads. When when it's when it's situations like this. Why are the ten of wands? Why the Ten of Wands? The Page of Pentacles with the High Priestess. So maybe you're having new ideas and new feelings, new thoughts, new opinions about holding a secret or being so mysterious, okay? I feel whatever this burden is, is starting. you're starting to look at this differently, you're starting to have new thoughts about it. I, I feel like you want this to go away. Like you don't want this third party situation, this love triangle or whatever you're in. You don't want this anymore. Why the death card? Whoa, that's a lot of cards. Hold up. Why the death card? Yeah, the devil is here feeling bound and stuck like you can't get out of it and I think you're just ready for this to go away but you're in love with someone and it's just becoming too much why the queen of wands trying to hide trying to keep things a secret is becoming a burden why the queen of wands the four of wands so you're not happy okay yeah okay so maybe you're married um, to this person here and you're not happy there and I feel like you're with someone else that you are happy with like you love this person 
but it's it's too much of a burden to try to uphold this relationship to keep it going so what is something you don't know that you should know okay that's interesting so this is all about like i feel like a love triangle not happy in your current relationship and but you you love this other part you you've fallen in love with someone else which happens i guess all right the six of wands which you don't know something could be um there's some sort of an achievement here or accomplishment victory success getting recognition this is what you don't know let's see clarify the six of wands well somebody's definitely not saying something about some type of achievement why the six of wands uh -oh. the four of wands in the reverse again so this is about that unhappy home life um why the four of wands reverse so your spouse i think this is your spouse because the situation was you guys aren't happy your home is like in shambles right now um at least emotionally um this this person i feel like they want to improve the situation the relationship whatever has gone wrong they want to fix it they want to improve it they want to bring happiness and pleasure back into this relationship um and they are trying to find out how to do this they are trying to improve the situation what is the energy of the six of wands the death card, the empress. I think this person is wanting to, like if you guys are ending or the relationship is um, transforming, they want this to, I'm just getting victory to evolve, to grow, for things to be better. Because right now that is not, that's not what it is. Like I'm getting major growth and transformation here. And you don't know this because I think they are still in their head about it, like figuring it out. What is the energy of the four of wands reverse? Still trying to put the pieces together. What is the energy of the four of wands reverse? Oh, the six of wands. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The seven of wands. Um, and maybe they know like there is some secrecy, maybe lying, cheating, things they don't know, they're not aware of. And maybe they want to figure this out. All right. They want a hand. Uh, they want to they want to have the upper hand on whatever this is ruining this relationship. Which I feel like there's this secret energy, which I saw in the first spread, like there's a third party. Okay. What is the energy of the hanging man? Oh, the ten of swords and the eight of swords. Like they don't want this to end. They feel very stuck here. Like how do we improve this ending? And I get that here as well. Like how do we overcome this ending? I, I think your person does not want this to go away. They don't want to end your relationship. What is the energy of the King of Wands? This could be you. The Strength card. Yeah. So, taming this situation, getting control of it, you know, having the courage to fix it. Um, maybe they view you as having a hard time. They That could be a thing as well um, with this relationship. Like, you're not as in control like maybe things are out of control um something like that what is the energy of the nine of cups okay so here's the nine of swords dang this is a lot i'm just gonna take them anyway yeah so i don't know to agree i feel like 
to a degree. I feel like your person has been spying and they know things, they've learned things, they've seen things, okay? Um, and maybe they want to talk about it. They they are very stressed out about this, okay? Because even here, they just like, whatever you're hiding, you know, like, let's, let's, uh, how do I, it's like overcoming obstacles, okay? Whatever you're not revealing, whatever the lies are, like, let's fix them. Like, I, I get this very optimistic energy from them. They don't want this ending. You know, let's go back to where we gave to each other. Equal give and take. Let's have truthful communication. Put it out there. I don't think this person is going to get rid of you if you come to them with truth. It just seems like they're like, we could win, right? Like, they, it feels like they want to forgive. So... Take that, take, do with that what you will, um, Aries. Okay, so the potential outcome is the high priestess, more secrets, more mystery. We'll see, because it could be something else, but so far, that's kind of been a thing, mystery and all this stuff. And the roles could flip, like this Aries could be, you know, you could be this person who wants this to work, don't want this to end. The roles can flip, all right? All right. Clarify this high priestess. This is the potential outcome. Clar clarify the high priestess. Oh, no. Ah, seven of Swords. I think there's just too much mystery. I think the relationship is ending. Your partner didn't want it to, but it's like, what else can I do? Because there's just too much, too much lies, too many lies, too much secrecy, you know, like secrecy. And someone just may move on, move forward in a, in a, in a more positive direction. Why the chariot? The judgment in the reverse. What is this? Not getting back together. The fool. I feel like someone is just going to take a, a whole new leap of faith. A new path in life. New direct, Going in, an, in a new direction. I cannot talk this morning. <laughs> going in a new direction. What is the energy of the high priestess? The star. The star. Okay. Or maybe this is someone using their intuition. You know? It's like they know. So the potential outcome, someone just knows that they're like, there are lies here. <laughs> There's deception. And they have the star. Why the star? Yeah, and they just want to move forward. Okay. So the outcome, someone leaves, someone moves on because they can't, they don't want to deal with all the lies, all of this deception. Um, and Aries, again, I feel like this could be you. I mean, as I've gone throughout the reading, it feels like, you know, it could, you could be that person who says, um, I don't want this to go. I don't want this to end. I want us to just, you know, have a victory over this. Like, let's not fail in this relationship. But somebody here is just moving on to a more peaceful place. I just get move on, like move on, move on. Move on, you know, not getting a second chance, not renewing. There's no reviving the situation. So what should you do, Aries? <clears throat> Your advice. You have a fool. All right. All right, clarify the fool. The fool is about taking chances, leaps of faith, going for something you normally wouldn't go for. So you could have these reservations about, that's what I was trying to say, like 
your partner, it could be your partner who's with a third party and you don't know that, hey, they actually really want this to work. But I think that you are going to move on, okay? And the cards are saying, yeah, take a chance on a new path, a, a new leap forward. Because I believe that there's still going to be lies and secrecy. Like, that's not going away. Okay. Um, and I, I think Spirit is giving you this as advice because you are having, a, you were having a hard time actually making that decision. Okay. Or avoiding having to leave your partner, trying to find the green light. And I don't think you found it, you know. So this is your moment to be independent and single and on your own. And I feel like you'll be fine. You can thrive and do just as well on your own. Um, it may not feel good, but you can do it. I think that you've been trying to, again, find the green light to push forward and make this work. Um, but I don't think your person is going to stop with the lies or deception or third party or whatever. Um, so it's okay to take a leap forward. It's okay to start a new path. Cause I see you'll, you'll be, you'll thrive just fine on your own. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.